Hey everybody! So for my project, I'm going to do some uh, a flexibility routine for a subject that I have to do a flexibility routine for. And this particular subject, um, he works at a desk eight hours a day for the past however many years. So based off of his picture, he's got a lot of here. I'll just sit on my chair. When he's sitting down, he's like this, and he's typing all the time. Can you hear me? So he's like this. He's always just typing. He's bent over. And so as you can see, he's got some rolled shoulders. He's got some serious head poke going on. And seeing as he's sitting down all day, he most likely has very tight abdominals and hip flexors. More so hip flexors, though. And so what we can assume from this is that he has what's called an anterior pelvic tilt in the lumbopelvic hip complex, which basically means that the hip flexors are so tight that they, they pull the pelvis down and forward like this. So basically if he was to stand up he would probably look like this and his shoulders are hunched, are hunched forward as well because of his rounded shoulders caused from sitting like this all the time and his head poke which is from a tight sternocleidomastoid. Now how I would go about fixing these particular postural distortions um, for the tight hip flexors, my stretch of choice would be this particular little beauty. So basically, just go into a deep lunge. It, so just like sit down on the ground and just let yourself drift forward. But as you're doing this, it's very important to tilt your pelvis back. So kind of do like a little bit of a pelvic thrust, like you're dancing to some music. And then just really come forward with it and you'll notice you feel a lot better of a stretch right in your hip flexors than if you were to just go like that because anyone can do this but if you really tilt that give yourself a posterior pelvic tilt you can really feel it much much better Ooh, so yes do this for 20 to 30 seconds and then switch sides and do it on the other side Ooh, I feel that a lot okay and can you still hear me? Um, the next stretch I would do would be for the tight sternocleidomastoid, which caused the head poke. I would get him to take this one arm, wrap it around his back, and grab onto it with his other arm. So he's kind of got this going on right here. What this does is this forces scapular depression and downward rotation. So that if we tilt our head this way, you really get way more of a stretch out of all the inner neck muscles. And then if you look away and up with it, oh yeah, you f away and up, you feel that a lot in the sternocleidomastoid. Yes, hold that for 20 to 30 seconds. Switch arms again. There you go. And then just drop your head down to this side. And then look up a little bit. Just a little bit. Not this. Just this. Yeah. That feels really good. Okay. And our third stretch is for his rounded shoulders. Hopefully this one will help him. Basically, we are just going to reach our hands behind us. And then just really pop your chest forward and you can see how I'm holding my hands because I'm not that flexible if you can do this that's good as well it's actually better but if I'm like this my, my shoulders are forward like this if I really want to bring it back like that that's the stretch okay just give you some different angles there so yes yeah, so hold this little this kind of you know loosens up all those muscles that are forcing like thoracic flexion and all this nastiness so we want to even it out and really fix that posture so this is the stretch I would choose for that and then the next one we have is the very basic for all you yogis upward dog so I'm choosing to do this one pretty much because it's focusing on almost everything that needs to be stretched with this particular individual so basically, I, I don't remember 
I don't do that much yoga. I don't remember if the feet or if the knees are on the floor or not. But let's just say that they are not on the floor. So come up like this and then look up to the ceiling. This is stretching the sternocleidomastoid, which is tight on this individual, as well as the abdominals, hip flexors, and as you can see, you kind of have to bring your shoulders back with it. So it's it's almost it's pretty it's it's pretty much stretching pec minor and pec major and all those ones right there. So yeah, well. That is all I have to say about that. You stay classy, San Diego.